here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today to talk about a couple of things. And one is why I do not shop at Thrive Market and to talk about some of the great deals I've come across on healthier food choices. So as you can see, I've got several different things laid out here. So let me start off by explaining why I do not like Thrive Market personally. And everybody's gonna, gotta find the best places for them. So right off the bat with Thrive Market, what I did not like was the fact that you couldn't see, but maybe a few of the items they might offer, but no prices. You had no idea what the prices were gonna be. And in order to see that, to find out if you're even gonna like Thrive Market, you had to actually sign up and pay, prepay for some kind of plan, whether it be the monthly plan or the full year plan. Now, the good thing is that you can get your money back if you get in there and find you didn't like it, which is what I did. So I decided, well, if there's a chance I'm really gonna like it, but knowing I can still get my money back, I'll go ahead and sign up for the full year and see what I think. I wasn't in there long. I was looking at all this different stuff and looking at their prices and personally was not impressed. I was impressed with the items that they had. I wasn't impressed with the prices they had, especially considering you have to pay this membership fee, which is comparable to what you would pay at Costco. Yet Costco membership fees, especially if you go with an executive membership plan and you spend enough there to get your 2% back, you can actually get your membership paid for through Costco by doing it that way. But uh, even if you just did the regular plan through Costco, you can still save a lot more money or at least someone like me can. Though I do believe different people are going to be able to save a certain amount of money. It's just depending on your regular buying habits. So preferably when you're talking things like flour, sugar, grain, all your basics, I like to buy in bulk. And Thrive Market doesn't offer that. They only give you small items. And then with unlike you can get at Costco or Azure Standard or Glory Bee or even Amazon. I've seen better prices without paying a membership fee at places like Vitacost. And you've heard me talk about Vitacost a lot and I'm gonna say right up front, I'm still not an affiliate, so I'm not promoting their store because I get any kind of incentive i get absolutely none i'm not that concerned about that i would rather direct you towards places you can get a better price and good quality product so these items i have separated out right here are actually items i got from misfits market now you've heard me talk a little bit about misfits market i a few months ago decided to give them a try and thus far i've been very pleased but what a lot of people may not realize that maybe initially signed up and weren't happy with the produce they got or haven't signed up yet, Misfits Market also has pantry items available. But the pantry items they have available can change from week to week and may not be available in the area that you're in. So it's not like Vitacost or Amazon or certain other places where you order from is going to depend on your actual location. So a lot of the stuff we get comes from as local as we can get to where we are in Washington State. Some might actually come from Washington. Most of it's coming from Oregon. This last order, I got a few things and I'll talk more about that in a minute. I just wanna finish what I'm saying about Thrive Market. So personally for someone like me who prefers to buy in bulk or even for smaller packaged items like this can find a better deal at places like Vitacost, without having to pay a membership fee, it just wasn't worth it. So after a couple of hours of perusing their store, I got onto the chat and said, I wanna cancel and I want a full refund. And they did. I, I will say that they, it was pretty easy. They refunded my full cost. So that's something in their favor. I just believe they should be more upfront and show people what they have before having to go through all the time of signing up at, just to cancel the membership. I think that's a real waste. Now with Misfits Market, some people might look at it the same, but the, the difference is you don't have to prepay for any kind of plan. You don't pay until after your order is placed and shipped and you can pause or cancel your membership at any time. 
and the reason why you can't see all the products that are available or the prices to go with them is because as i said with misfits market those things change weekly that's why you're only given a certain window to order especially when you're talking about things like produce and I've seen their different pantry items change. And I was really thrilled to find out they carry certain pantry items, like even bread. I don't buy any of the bread because I make all our own bread. And I can make all our own pasta. And it is a fun process. I do have some videos out there. And one of these days, I'm still going to do more. But you can get some of your pastas there. Now, most of the time, I buy my pastas in bulk through Costco. And this is the brand I get, a good Italian made pasta now costco carries organic this particular one is not organic but i went ahead and bought it because i'm really happy with this brand and this is the orzo and costco doesn't sell the orzo there so i found these for two dollars a bag which for a 16 ounce bag of pasta is a really good price and orzo is really nice because you can use it in soups and other things where you want something smaller so instead of breaking up a bunch of spaghetti noodles and doing it that way having something like this is a lot easier so this the main reason i got it was for using in place of broken spaghetti noodles when i make my rice aroni replica and i have several different videos out there it's like i kept making videos about it not knowing i already had one but i'll go ahead and link to my most recent one which i believe was a collaboration video i did with mary's nest it was a year or two ago but anyway this that's what i plan on doing with this so i was really happy to see that so i got a couple of bags if it's available on my next time i'm order i'm going to order at least two more bags to have on hand then some other stuff that i discovered through misfits market this is all also available on vitacost however looking around this was even half the price of what you can find at vitacost now vitacost has great prices and you can often get discounts and especially if you put your items in your cart and wait a day they will usually send you a 10 percent discount and then you can even add more to your cart and still get that 10 percent discount through that code that they'll send you so i love that so when you put stuff in your cart at vitacost don't check out right away wait 24 hours at least and then check your email and don't forget to check your spam mail too because it could fall in there and see if you got that discount code for a percentage off this is the maranatha they have different nut butters they're all non-gmo and uh, i saw this one here vanilla raw almond butter and oh my goodness is that this one good in fact it kind of has the taste to me of um the cookie butter that Trader Joe's sells. Now, uh, I finally got to go several years ago into a Trader Joe's for the first time, thought I would check it out because I happen to be in the area. And I'd heard about the cookie butter, so I bought some and I fell in love with it. But then I read the ingredients. <laughs> you assume just because you're buying something in a health food store that it's supposed to have healthy ingredients. Nope. But the ingredients in this are all healthy, very, very limited ingredients, and so tasty. So I decided to try the banana raw almond butter and it's pretty good too doesn't taste as good near as good to me as the vanilla and not as banana flavor as i would have liked but it's still pretty tasty now here's something else i want to share with you is i did not order this one this was from a previous order when i was meant to order the banana and i had ordered it but they sent me the wrong one well, they just refunded me my money that same the same day i sent them an email took a picture of the item right away they refunded me the money for this by the way at the time that i ordered this 3.99 a jar for these uh everywhere else i've looked even on vitacost they're anywhere from 750 on up to nine dollars for one 12 ounce jar now raw almond butter is going to be expensive anyway but four dollars for a piece for these is a really great deal for almond butter so then another thing they had which i do plan to get more of is i have some sweet almond oil i bought more just for skincare but i didn't get a lot of it i got it through now foods and it's you know it's a good oil it's a good one to use in your skin cream to infuse your oils and stuff but i just wasn't going to get big into that because it's so much more expensive but then i saw this at misfits market eight dollars and 19 cents for a 33 ounce bottle same size as their avocado oil that i pay ten dollars for at costco and ten dollars for a bottle this size is a super good deal but 
this was even better and it's almond oil which is usually more expensive than your avocado oil i will still use avocado oil because almond oil does have its own slight smell and flavor to it where avocado oil is very bland there's no smell no flavor now i've been using this in cooking i did fry some zucchini pieces where i breaded them and fried them using the almond oil and something else i did i can't remember what it was i think it was potatoes i'm happy with it i really like it so the good thing about almond oil just like with avocado oil it's a good high heat oil avocado oil can go up to 500 degrees though where your almond oil is 450 but that's still going to be pretty good anything that goes up to 450 is going to be good it doesn't have to go up to 500 but the more stable the oil especially if you're talking about food storage and for infusing oils for whatever reason or for frying in any kind of high heat cooking going with a more stable oil is important and coconut oil is another one that's one of my standards so i do have a video on the top fat size store that i'll put down below but if I can keep getting a good price on the almond oil, this is going to be added to my top fats because that was a screaming good deal on that. And I'm going to at least experiment in doing an infused oil with that. So if you're allergic to avocados, you can use almond oil. It's excellent for hair care, skin care, and so on. But I think it's more likely that people are going to be allergic to almonds than they are avocado, but you just, you just never know. And then another thing I found most recently on Misfits Market was a Nature's Path organic rice puff, so puffed rice cereal, which Patrick really likes from time to time. I don't usually buy a lot of this just because it's like one serving per bag, but it was still a good price, $1.99 for a bag of these. Even though I have several recipes on making your own homemade granola, and I also do have a, you know, the oatmeal as well as my own creamy whole grain cereal for a hot cereal. And I'll put a couple of those videos down below. I do like to stock up on some good, healthy choices for cold cereals. I do also make Patrick a lot of hot breakfasts, but he does have his days. He really likes cold cereal for breakfast. He doesn't always like a hot breakfast. So I have been trying to get a good supply. And I did talk about my cereals and some of the different ones I'm stocking up on and why in another video that I'll be putting down below on storing cereals and crackers for long term. Now these ones I get from, from Vitacost. Vitacost has the best price. If you can't find it at Misfits Market, I so far I have found that Vitacost has the best price on items like this, whether it be your organic crackers, your organic cereals like Nature's Path or Cascadian Farms or um, one I don't have out here is the Kashi. One of Patrick's favorite is the Kashi shredded wheat and so I stock up on that and I show all that in that video I just mentioned. And then the other place I like to buy some of my products are Amazon. So I get subscribe and save, especially the different healthier dairy powders. I have several videos on these like the cream cheese powder from Hoosier Hill Farm or the sour cream powder, all things that I can get through subscribe and save. Oh, and this is Judy's. Judy's and Hoosier Hill Farms are a couple of my favorites for dairy powders. And I have all kinds of different dairy powders. I have butter. I have the cream cheese, I have heavy cream powder, I have whole milk powder, and I have buttermilk powder, and I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting. Oh, I have the white cheddar powder too, which isn't the healthiest one. It's got some added ingredients that aren't as great, unlike all their other ones that are just like the whole milk powder is just whole milk. That's all it is. Unlike certain uh, popular brand names that add a lot of junk to their powdered milk. They'll they'll strip it down, take all the fat out, and then put a bunch of unhealthy fat in, plus a bunch of other unhealthy things like corn syrup. And then another one I wanted to bring up is really Simple Truth is a pretty good organic brand that for the price, they've had some of the best price prices on juices and cereals that are organic that I've seen from any other brand. And we've been, I've been sampling different ones, different products like their raisin brand and so on. And I've been pretty happy with most of it. So I did, I haven't tried the pomegranate juice yet, but I did open one of the black cherries and decided to give it a try. And boy, was it delicious. Now I don't drink a lot of juice, like just to drink it, but I like having juice on hand for several different things. Eventually when the baby gets a little older, I'm going to start making him some homemade gummies. And I do that using different organic juices, whether it be grape juice from my own grapes, apple juice from my own apples, 
or some good organic juices that I can purchase. So that's why one of the reasons why I stock up on stuff like this because this would definitely make a really good tasting vitamin C gummy that I could feed to Jackson. It would be a healthy snack that way. And it's probably sweet enough I don't think I would need to add any honey to it. And there's no added sugars in these juices. But another idea I had was in the zucchini video I did where people were commenting about doing the pineapple zucchini which is a pretty good idea but i'm thinking about maybe doing some samples and trying to can some of my excess zucchini that same way but using some other juices whether it be the apple juice i get from my own apples or even this black cherry i think this would be really good i do have some videos like where i buy my grains and people ask me this all the time. I'll go ahead and link to that down below where I buy my grains in bulk because I get them from different places depending on what's available where and what's the best price I can get. But this video was more about things that I don't buy in bulk that are going to be smaller package items like this or the almond butter or the oils or even the pasta like this the cereals and so on. So right now my two favorite places are Misfits Market and the Vitacost and then bigger bulk items would be Costco, Amazon and Azure Standard and that includes the grains. I wanted to bring that up too again about the Misfits Market is that the thing is as long as you're ordering a $30 order each time whether it be weekly, bi-weekly or, or once a month you get to choose any of that and I'll go ahead and put the referral link down below. I don't always have it in there because I'm assuming you guys can still get like $10 off your first order. I don't get to earn anything more. I was only allowed 30 of the referrals so I could make the $10 but hey 30 times times 10 that's 300 dollars worth of groceries i got so thank you for everyone who were who was going through my referral link i can't earn anything more until next year i think it's 30 per year which is good and i'm still happy with the money i save and i'm able to get a lot of organic produce that i wouldn't be able to find locally delivered right to my door and it's been well packed but if you live in a place where you're having problems with Misfits Market and maybe it's too hot or you're just not getting the good produce like we've been able to get, uh, at least look at their pantry items. It might still be worth it for you to keep your membership and do your pantry items. Or if your area is doing the meat like they do here, the meat is all frozen and they really pack that one well. And uh, I've been getting some really good high quality meats through there. So even if I didn't get any, in fact, this last order, I got mostly the meats and the pantry items and just a couple of produce items. I didn't get a whole lot of produce this time because we're pretty well stocked up on produce, especially with the stuff coming in from our own garden. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. And again, that's, that's why I'm not crazy about Thrive Market because I can get much better deals everywhere else. Go ahead and share some of your favorite places to shop down below, particularly online because a lot of people are sort of having to resort to online ordering, if, whether it be that they live remote or they just can't get out and get to the store or whatever it is. Ours is kind of all of the above. I just don't have time to get out to the store. It's a lot quicker and easier for me to shop from here and have it delivered here. And also don't forget to check out the links I'll be putting in the description box down below. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.